morning. Just talked to that guy over there. Um, he said, what are the chances you got cabinets on? And I'm like, high chance. <laughs> so, um, told me to go out to the light, hang a left, hang another left. Apparently there's like a crap ton of apartments getting put up here. So, that's what's going on. You need to get on over there. Yeah, that may be one of the tighter packs I've had to do. It may just be because I just woke up, but yeah, that was uh, it's pretty rough. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go see if that guy needs help getting his stuff done so that I can get unloaded sooner and uh, whatnot. Whew, what a back. I'm here in Knoxville, Tennessee, unloading some cabinets today. Hand unload, driver assist. Gotta get it to the back of the trailer. Got my two-wheeler back there. Uh, I don't know if it'll be heavy enough for that. I might just be sliding it, but um, yeah, I'm gonna grab my gloves, go help out that guy so I can get unloaded because I got to pick up about 40 miles, 50, 60 miles away. I don't know. I'm going back to Henderson, Kentucky. So I'll be home tonight, hopefully. That's if they unload me fast enough here, but I'm unloading myself. But if they don't, like if I get to the end of the, the, the truck and then they're like lollygagging, it might take a while. But I mean, I literally have till 4 p.m. and it's a sit, 8.43 right now. <clears throat> anyway, appointment's not until 10.30, so I'm not really tripping too bad if they're gonna say, hold on, but I don't know. Hopefully they, they don't mind that I'm parking here. I'm, that guy's just 10th of a mile down there. I can see him in my rear view. So let's just see how it goes. So we're delivering here at this uh, job site. It's now uh, 11.30, 11.23. My watch is an hour behind. But they just finished up with the guy behind me. So let's get backed up so he can get out of here and um, see if we can get unloaded. I really am afraid they're going to go to lunch right now. Because um, I got to get to that other load but before four. You know what I mean? So I might have to do a little bribing. You know what I mean? So, because if I have to lose that load, it's bad on the, looks bad on the company and I lose all that money and I have to sit another day. So I may pay like handsomely for whoever's gonna stay out stay out and do it but we'll see that's just part of trucking sometimes so whatever all right let's get back up all right i'm unloaded here in knoxville uh it wasn't too bad guy kind of helped me uh helped me get unloaded it wasn't just fully me he was kind of telling me what to stack because it was like had to go into like this boom and then go up and uh Definitely better than I thought it would go for sure. And now we gotta high tail it. Are you kidding me? Now we gotta high tail it to uh, the uh, next pickup. It's about an hour away, it says. We will see if that's true. Hopefully, it's uh, not really, really windy roads. It'll take me three hours to get there or something stupid, or there's a low bridge, or this or that. yellow anyway i'm gonna get driving so see you on the time lapse here for the uh, four o'clock cutoff i set my tractor brakes like i usually do on this slant and i'm like i don't know, I don't know if that'll hold and i let off the brakes and it starts sliding <laughs> so, <laughs> so watch out for that if you're on a heavy especially if i was heavy i would definitely set the, the trailer brakes too but i just don't usually because i don't so let's see what they say you're going to henderson kentucky is that correct yes and how can i help you uh, yeah, I just arrived at the shipper and they're closed, but it says that they're open with the ship until four. Okay, okay, yes, it's 
says here that the appointment is between 8 and 4. Was between 8 and 4. Um, let me check. Okay, and you haven't arrived to the shipper yet, correct? I'm at the shipper right now. I'm saying they're closed. Okay. Okay, don't worry. Uh, let me escalate the situation to the brokers to let them know that information to see if there is something that we can do. Um, yeah, because we don't have a phone number from that shipper, from that warehouse. So okay. So I'm going to escalate that. And as soon as we have a response from the brokers, we will contact you. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So have a good day. Bye-bye. Yeah. So I went to walk over there. He's like, oh, there was a guy that was disconnecting from a trailer. I guess he works here or something. He's like, oh, it's uh, everything's closed. And um, they already gone home for the day. Um, there's a parking lot that he was pointing at and there's no no cars parked there so i'm like okay great so tried calling my broker he didn't pick up so i just had to call the main line but why is it that i can't go a single week without getting a load canceled like i mean i don't think i got one canceled last week but it's like why why you know Anyway, I guess I'll start emailing on some different loads, get something going. But, dude, I'm so hungry. It's not even funny. Like, I didn't eat this morning. Helped unload the truck. And it is now 3.30. So, let me see if I can find something else in case they just want to say, sorry. We can either pay you layover or pay you Tonu. But, yeah, definitely probably not coming home tonight. So. Uh, All right. So, uh, he's going to send over a Tonu. It's now... 445 and I just booked a load um, going from near Nashville four stops two in Owensboro one in Jasper and then one in uh, Evansville Indiana where I'm from paying pretty good paying 1150 for 100 and it says 180 miles but by the time I go up to Jasper and then over to Evansville it'll probably be like uh 230 still well over four dollars a mile um, but when you add in the deadhead it kind of kills it a little bit it goes down to like three dollars a mile but still not bad i mean that means that from right now um it'll be three dollars a mile and whenever i left the other place it was like 50 miles so i went empty 50 miles and the tonu should be 150 on that so that's like three dollars a mile and then now i'm about to drive uh 100 and 50 miles and then 180 miles so doing okay but it's just frustrating you know what I mean but you know what yeah like for the fact that I just said I'm at I'm doing good for this week so far <laughs> by the time the dollars come in and the miles are still on the truck it, it'll end up being real real good like around three dollars a mile the load from this morning that was like four dollars a mile or something but it, I had the deadhead there and back made it about three so I, I really can't complain. I, I shouldn't be complaining at all. So I'll stop complaining and start driving once I put this dolly up and he lean it back over. Um, yeah, it's just paper goods too. It's not even something annoying like uh, flowers or whatnot. It's just paper goods. Picking up tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. and then four stopping it. I'll be home tomorrow night. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully afternoon. And then I'll probably take Wednesday off because I'm tired of uh, trucking sometimes and I'll ride my bicycle or something. It's nice out. If not, I might grab one of those. I'll see if he has any of those um, round trip things. But I know for a fact I'll need death and I'm gonna get some real food because I just had some tuna and popcorn. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Should have packed better food. It's my bad. Anyway, see you in a second on the time lapse. Hopefully not getting another load canceled on me. That'd be nice.
car in Lebanon, Tennessee. Looking to get some diesel and some def. I direly have a dire need for some def. I'm getting almost to where it's uh, telling me about it. You know, very close. I'm pretty excited about this fill up. Um, firstly, it's like three. 30 a gallon or something like that. Um, less than if the price is like 302. Pretty good. And then, oh, I'm hoping this comes back at a uh, over nine mile per gallon uh, fill up. We'll see. Praying for the best. But for now, let's go throw some fuel in. And then uh, I'm probably going to go back up the road a little bit, park and go walk about half a mile to a Mexican restaurant and get some food. I think I will. And it's not just Taco Bell. It's like a real Mexican restaurant. I might do Taco Bell too. I don't know. I may get maybe a long line. So who knows? At any rate, let's get some fuel. I got our fuel, got our def, jumped over to this pilot and uh, decided against doing anything Mexican because I'm, I'm not sure about parking and everything like that. So uh, I didn't want to take a reserve spot. That's all that was left, and I didn't want to reserve a spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Reserve a spot just long enough to go get food in case someone else wants to sleep. I don't know. So I just parked on the uh, non-fuel side of the island and uh, went in and got some Subway. So that'll be that. Subway for two days in a row, but these are the days. So I'm going to jump, jump over to the shipper and hopefully i can find somewhere to park around there and i'll eat my subs and that'll do it for this video at that point but we're gonna time lapse for the 10 minute drive over super excited about this place again i hope whoever's in that wreck is okay I, I don't think they are but anyway stay off your phone it looks like that van had to hit that truck with the truck sitting still the van going 60 i mean it was just they had a wrecker i don't know if they had to pull the semi off of the van you know what i mean i don't know <sighs> anyway what a day. Not how I thought today would go. Uh, I was hoping I'd get that other load, but it is what it is. Um, hard to tell if I'm money up or money down because that load was only going to pay $750. And I still got $150. But this one tomorrow is paying $1150. So really, like, um, 1300 by tomorrow evening. But if I had gotten that one, I could have gotten a four, I could have gotten a $500 load tomorrow and made the same amount of money, but been home. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's not worth playing the comparison game. I'm just doing the best I can. I got so lucky to get that load. It just popped up hot. Well, <laughs> it, it was 150 miles away going to Jasper for a good amount of money. So I'm like, I almost, I almost never deadhead this far to a pickup i'll deadhead home this far and farther but i won't deadhead to a pickup because like you know hoping this place doesn't also reject me or, or cancel it or something like that because that would piss me off so bad it'd be a dollar a mile for a tonu 150 miles for 150 dollars not ideal i'd still be money ahead but hardly by the time you take cost into account and time and everything all that to say um just trying my best out here it's a rough economy right now but it's not even that it's just whenever people cancel loads or 
mess up my plans. It's just kind of really frustrating. So it's making it hard to plan ahead these days. I'm glad I didn't book something picking up tomorrow because I would have literally just had to deadhead home. Um, like say I was gonna do another drop trailer for furniture or whatnot. Um, so we'll see what comes to Wednesday. I think I might just take the day off Wednesday, work a little something on Thursday into Friday morning, but then I have to go to a wedding on Friday back in Bloomington, which is where I was with the weekend. That's why I'm kind of red. Um, but I'll, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna go eat some food because I am hungry. I have not had a real meal all day. I had some tuna and popcorn. That is it. So I'm gonna get eaten, chomping. Probably I got two foot longs, so one will be for tomorrow or I'll have a gorging moment and just, just eat them both. That'd be kind of a spectacle, wouldn't it? <laughs> to watch me eat both. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm I'm sorry, at this point, more videos will have been put out, but I've been pretty dry, like maybe a video a week. So I'm trying to pick it up, getting behind again. I was close and then I got behind again. So anyway, catch you on the next one.